Hi, welcome to uh, this video. I'm going to show you the New York Times uh, reader on my Samsung Q1P. So let's go ahead and, and open that up. So this is actually not in the full screen mode. As you can see, you can see the taskbar on the bottom. Uh, but yet you can uh, see uh, quite a bit. On the top, you have the different sections of the New York Times, the home section, world, U.S., same as in their print magazine, uh, print version of the newspaper as well as the website. Um, and then in the section you see the articles. Uh, this is yesterday's paper, Sunday, March 18th. You can see that there's two articles, uh, the Sunni militants disrupt plan to combat Baghdad as well as facing life with a lethal gene, and then uh, two photos. So if I go to full screen mode, and I could tap here on the left, upper right, upper left here, uh, where it says show full screen mode, or hit F11, and there it'll take you to full screen. But not quite. You'll see the taskbar still there on the bottom. I see this happens a lot, but if I minimize, bring it back, and then hit F11, it'll take the taskbar away. Not sure why that happens. And here now you'll see there's two more articles uh, that weren't there before. And if you go out of the full screen mode too, there's no taskbar, um, the scroll bar, um, that you can just go down and see the other um, articles. Um, but there's a couple ways you can see that. One is in, under Home, if you click on it and then click on the little arrow, then that'll show all of the articles in that section. So you have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight articles. They weren't quite there before. Okay. Um, and then to read one of the articles, so why don't we go to science? And if I wanted to um, read about um, a toast to evolvability and its promise of surprise, just click on that and. I guess it wasn't downloaded, so let's just go to one on the on the front. So different paths from Vietnam to uh, war in Iraq. Just click on that, and you'll see um, that there's the article to be read on the lower right hand. I saw one, page one of ten, and if you just use down um, page down, it'll go f through those different pages. Um, and then on the bottom left, if you want to increase the font size, you can do that by just clicking on that different sizes of A and it reformats pretty quickly. I'll put it back to where we originally had it with as two columns. And uh, if you want to go to the different sections, just tap on the top where it says business science, just like I did, um, opinion. And if you want to just scroll through, you can just hit page down and it'll take you through sports, technology, um, science and then any of those articles that might look good just go ahead and click on click on that um, something that's kind of new with this recent software version of the of the New York Times reader is show seven day archive and that's kind of neat because up now up on the top you see it's today but you can have if you download which which I have not but if you download it you have seven days worth of the paper and here if I click on March Monday March 12th then it, it uploads um, then that paper. And then you could have, you know, if you didn't have a chance to read, you know, let's say Tuesday, uh, or my, you know, Tuesday, which is, I know, has a science times, then, um, you know, you, you basically, it's like having the papers piled up, but it's all on your UMPC, or in my case, my Q1. But let's go back to today, which obviously is yesterday, because I had not, haven't downloaded uh, the paper today. And, um, you know, that, that's, for the most part, it. Um, I guess I just want to point out one thing. I actually prefer, uh, I, I don't use the reader a lot. And uh, as I wrote in my blog, um, the price is going to go up um, from free to, I think it's like $14, $15 a month. Uh, unless you have a subscription. I do. I have one for my mother. She gets the weekend paper. Um, she doesn't have a computer. She's not on the internet. So I use that subscription that I get for her and um, basically can continue to use the reader for free. 
Um, so if you do have a subscription, if it's just a weekend subscription, um, you don't have to worry about them charging you for the reader because you can continue to use it for free. But like I said, I don't really use it. One of the features I like about the uh, New York Times website, in fact, it's my homepage, is that they have a lot of multimedia content which you won't see in the reader, uh, particularly like their audio um, slideshows, which I enjoy a lot. And um, those are right, you know, on the in the New York Times webpage. And I like the way it's formatted. As you you'd see my uh, video on the Firefox on a PC. Um, you know, I think that's just a nice formatting. And where this is kind of nice too, and I think the big plus is that it's offline, so you don't need to be connected to the internet. And you could once you download it, it's on your hard drive. Um, but I guess I'm connected a lot. So I, uh, I guess the bottom line is. I think this is a good tool um, if you if to meet a lot of people's needs. But um, in terms of reading the paper, I actually just prefer to um, <clears throat> read it online. All right. Hey, thanks for um, watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come.